get ready for the jump. No, 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 what? No, I found oh, now, Wild. Oh, oh, no. Can't make it. No, it's Baron's brat. Where in blazes did she come from? Oh, no. Cleve, what is wrong with Luna? Uh, well, Biddy, she's been through quite the ordeal, but uh, we just need to get her the hell out Biddy. of here. Betty, what's good? That's exactly what we're going to do. That's right, so I've what? made contact. Stand by. Here Ricky. we go. What? No, no, Ricky. What is it? What the hell? No, keep back, you little idiot. You'll ruin everything. No, don't. No! No, Betty! Oh. She's gone. All of them are gone. And the hand van. You've got to get back to the pan van. And now it's time for the adventures of the Baron Boy. What happened? Cliff! Where's Cliff? What? I don't know. Thanks to the interference of Baron's little brat. Baron's brat? You mean anywhere. Betty? Oh my god, that's right. She was there. What? She's not with us now. What? Is... Betty's gone too. Yes, well, it's her own damn fault. As I said, she interfered with the teleportation field and obviously scattered her atoms and Cliff's atoms elsewhere. Oh my god, we... we've got to find them. We'll do nothing of the sort. The good news is, we finally managed to make it back into Baron's Time Tower, through which I should be able to re-energize my omnibus. No, I mean, Biddy and Cliff, we've got to find them! They could be in danger, or injured! What? No, no, I keep forgetting I'm talking to a Neanderthal. When I said they were scattered to parts unknown, I meant throughout time. The actual place they're located in is right here within the Time Tower. Wait, what? Oh, uh, yes, it's just a different point in time. Which one? I don't know, and I don't really <laughs> have the time to deal with it. As for any injuries they may have suffered, well, they'll just have to deal with that themselves, especially little Betty, as it's her fault that things occurred as they did. In the meantime, I've got to get back to the business of my omnibus. And since we materialized right outside the teleporter potty, I'll be on my way. You can stay here if you want. <laughs> what? Damn it, it's locked. Let's see. Oh no. Oh no, I don't have my skeleton key. Damn it. How am I going to access the teleporter potty to get back to the omnibus now? Well, I bet Biddy could open the teleporter potty. Damn it. Very well, Miss Montgomery. Let's try to locate your friends. Hey, we did it! We're back in the time tower! We said... Huh? Lola? Penny? Reckon? Anybody? Damn it, what the hell? Wait a minute. Yeah, Biddy jumped in and Reckon said it was some kind of problem. Damn it. Maybe there's somewhere else in the tower. I can... Huh? That's how it looks when it arrives. Baron! Baron, you in there? Yes. Yes, I'm here. I... I'm, I'm in the tower. Uh, but how am I inside the tower? Uh, hello? With the van. It's not supposed to do that. I... How... Oh, damn. Did I screw up again? I... I... I beg your pardon, sir, but... Might I impose upon you? Whoa, whoa, hang on! Big oh, man, it's out cold. Who the hell is this guy? Wait a minute. Looks familiar.
familiar, almost as if... Who are you, and how did you get into my tower? Huh? What? Uh, another one? Baron. Baron, Baron. Is, everything, is everything okay? Yes, 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 my darling. I, I, I have it under control. You stay upstairs with Biddy. I, Biddy? I, I'll handle this. Now, you, sir, had best explain yourself and how you managed to gain entry to my time tower, obviously, through the utilization of this... Well, I suppose it's a, your own version of a warp wagon. But nevertheless, wagon? you will explain yourself, sir, lest I must make use of the electro pistol I am holding right here. Electro pi- you, You're him! You're- You're Baron Void! Only- Only younger. All right, very well. You have me at a bit of a disadvantage. Yes. Indeed, Baron Boy, but the question remains, who are you? Well, well, yeah, but who's he? Hmm? Oh, dear me. Another me. But, but they should be here. You have been listening to Baron Boy. Written, produced, and performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Music comes courtesy of Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources.